Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I stand in support of House Bill 1437. And I find it interesting that the minority chairman of the Appropriations Committee, the committee that is tasked to build a budget, says that he doesn't want to look at the lines in the budget. He just wanted to talk overall. Well, I want to look at the budget, and I want to look at the line items in the budget and what they actually do. A lot of talk is about this, this evening is about priorities. Well, the governing party in Pennsylvania, the Republican Party, is pretty committed to some important priorities. The number one priority in this budget, 41% of the tax dollars in this budget are going to education. Pre-kindergarten through college, $11.6 billion of taxpayer dollars are going to education. Almost half of that, $5.5 billion, is to basic education. And as we heard, that's $122 million more than we spent last year. I know the other party, the minority party, that's not committed to governing, but more talking points and rhetoric that will be used next year wants to talk about it's not enough. What is enough, Mr. Speaker? $122 million. Where does that look at the history of Pennsylvania? Where does that stack up? Mr. Speaker, it's a record investment in education. Mr. Speaker, community colleges for the second straight year will receive an increase in their capital line item, an increase they hadn't seen for three years prior to us coming into the majority party. Education is the number one priority to this caucus and the Republican Party. This budget is another indication that Pennsylvania is becoming a national, almost an international leader in responsible development of natural gas production. But how did we get there, Mr. Speaker? The minority party that's been talking about years and years of tax, tax, tax these big companies, did we receive the revenue that way? No, we put a responsible impact fee that's generating millions of dollars for the Commonwealth in our neighborhoods back home. We put a responsible impact fee in place. We took a responsible pro-business approach of leasing our own land, our own state lands. And where's that gotten us? The revenue for that in the oil, uh, the, the oil and gas lease fund is up 66% above revenue projections so that we could take 60 more million dollars invest them in education. 60 million dollars we were able to use for other priorities so that we could take the operations of our state lease, our, our state parks and forests, we could use the revenue generated from responsible oil production on our state land, a pro-business approach. I think it's interesting that the minority party wants to talk about job creation. Mr. Speaker, last, this April, 24,000 more Pennsylvanians are working. 24,000 more people working in April. That's the largest increase since August of 1983. And I know your follow-up question, Mr. Speaker, was I born in August of 1983? And no, I wasn't. The largest monthly increase in my life happened under this administration, under this majority party rule. Where do we re relate? in job growth from when Governor Corbett and this majority party came in into the power of this chamber. 116,000 more Pennsylvanians are working in the public sector. I think this majority party knows about job creation. I think this party knows about how to create economic activity and generate jobs in Pennsylvania. I think it's ironic that the minority party wants to be the party of job creation. I think it's also interesting to point out that while we took a responsible approach to the capital stock and franchise tax by stopping the phase out and slowing it down, a tax that should have been gone a long time ago, the gentleman from Bucks County, he doesn't want to just stop the phase out, he wants to increase it. I think this is a responsible approach. I'd love to see that old tax phased out, but this is the responsible approach. Mr. Speaker, this matches the priorities of our constituents. It lives within our means. It makes Pennsylvania an international leader in the responsible development of natural gas, which is going to make our, this country energy independent. 
Thousands more Pennsylvanians work. It's responsible, it's on time, and it delivers for the constituents that we represent, and I urge a yes vote. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.